Hey Scott, Bounty Hunter Boot Camp here with my firearms expert and guru, Nathan Dahl. Um, so we're doing safe life testing and we came up with some ideas, uh, the last safe life uh, video. And so we're gonna do some of those here on the, the 3A plus or the 3A enhanced. We're gonna stab the heck out of it and we're gonna shoot it at different angles and see how the bullet travels. All right, so we got we got the vest on our dummy and we got a machete and it's like a tactical machete there it's got the saw and everything on it so so watch out i like Sir, it thinking about uh edge weapons attacks we've seen that a few times um you know recently chicago uh they had uh sergeant get stabbed uh, the vest saved her from that um so we want to kind of make sure that we're because we're facing on the streets, uh, you know, a variety of edge weapons. Um, we want to see what our vests can do uh, to prevent. All right. Edge so, attacks. so I, I get to jump on you with the machete. You get anything? Uh, looks like you might have sliced the fabric a little bit. That's it. I didn't even make it through. I see red. Yeah. No, that didn't. You're good. I'd save that one. All right, so, bitch. Well, I'd say you're safe from machete. Yeah, you're looking looking pretty good. So I got this knife. I actually got this dagger off a dude that we arrested in Moses Lake about four years ago. Um, it's a 440 dagger made of steel, um, and this was actually something somebody had on their person that we arrested. I'm puncturing, I'm puncturing the, that machete's far more damaging to, uh, oh, this thing isn't, well, survived the dagger, alright, so I got this knife off a of dude, um, and this fucker's sharp, I cut myself pretty good with this one, as you can see, that's, this is sharp, super sharp. So I did two slashes. I easily cut through the first layer of Kevlar. I mean, this is a fucking knife a suspect had. Guy with a warrant had this knife. Look how sharp that is. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not so much puncture. Ooh, that went through. That's sharp, that went through. That went through a few layers. What's it say on the other side? I could feel it. <laughs> no, it's not going through. Okay. Not going through, but look at that. It's sticking. It's sticking out. I mean, this so far, this little knife, it's a freaking sharp knife, man. That That's doing a number to this thing. That's cut. But you're not bleeding. You're not bleeding. And, and you're retreating and shooting. Yeah, hopefully. Well, that's doing a few. I can't, I can't, this, this is a sharp knife. If, 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 if my hand's pushing directly on the back, I can feel it, but it's not through. It's not even through halfway through this vest. I'd be cutting my finger right now as sharp as this knife is. But, um, I mean. That went through almost a quarter of an inch of that vest. And it stopped it. So far, so good. What else we got? Cold steel. I don't know where this. I don't know where this knife came from, but we'll try slashing and stabbing with this one as well. This has got some teeth on it, sharp blade and some teeth. That didn't even make it. Not as impressive as that. As that. Uh, that last knife. Nothing. Nothing. This is this is a doozy. This is uh, this is the Kyle Lamb Viking Tacticals top knife. It's a two hundred dollar knife, giant piece of steel made by Top. Top make fantastic knives. So if something's gonna go through, well, I went through, but guess what? 
I missed the vest. And I and I stabbed our guy. I missed I missed the vest up. Nothing. All right. I mean, I feel pretty confident in this vest on a, I mean, I wear this vest every single day and I feel pretty comfortable. Before I started this, I feel even better. The only knife it really did any damage was that super sharp one, mm -hmm. the Obaki. Put All some right. weight behind it. All right, so, all right, in the world of uh, rioting and improvised weapons and such, Mason decided to take out this bar. What's this thing weigh? About five pounds? About that. It's not super sharp, but that would, if I was to hit a human being with this tip, um, it's definitely going in you. Definitely going in you. You're about dead. All right. Oh, it's, like getting, oh, it's so cold. All right, here we have our vest. We know it's the enhanced because it's red. We've cut layers of Kevlar here. Maybe two, three layers of Kevlar tops. We've got nothing. We've got no indentations. We've got nothing, nothing, nothing on the other side of this thing, nothing slash proof and then if you think about it if you're not wearing a concealable vest like this if you're not wearing a concealable vest and you've got your gear on here you know that slashing is not going to be as effective so I feel really good about edge weapons on this thing what do you feel feeling pretty good the 3a plus spike rating level one five-year warranty um, this is built same time, 8 2020. Um, how do you feel about Edge Weapons? Feeling pretty good. Uh, like I said, we got no penetration, we got no dimpling. Um, no we dimpling. Slashed, at all. We slashed through a couple layers, but you know, ultimately, you're not bleeding. You're looking pretty good. That 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 Columbia River knife, sharp. As well. <laughs> that was the knife I pulled off a of, dude. That thing stabbed through at least four or five layers of this thing. I mean, look at the front. I mean, who cares what your vest like looks like, right? It's about it's about surviving attack. It's not about what your shit looks like. Oof. I mean, that Columbia River didn't number. I mean, that's what really. I mean, the machete got it, but. Yeah. And just like any of these vests, you, you face an attack, uh, shooting, stabbing, whatever. You're gonna need a new vest at the end of the day. Uh, but did you survive the encounter? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I, I went to town on it. So, stab? Stab good. So in a correctional setting, would this be a vice? Because I know like California CDC. Sure, they wear absolutely. Yeah, Pelican Bay and stuff, they wear stab stuff. Yep. So, you know, it's not just about stopping bullets, you know, because you face all kinds of threats. So I feel really good. I mean, I felt really good after the last video about wearing my vest. And I've been looking forward to doing this since we did the shooting, I wanted to stab it. Next thing we're going to do is something that we noticed at the end of the last video. We started just shooting the shit to see what we could get um, through or just how many bullets can this vest take. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I noticed is what if you're in a compromised position? What if you're laying down in the threats above you? And, you know, everybody straight on shoots these things, which is one of the reasons we went to the contact thing to see contact shooting in the, the vest performed awesome on contact shooting but what if you're on the ground and your adversary is on top of you so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up our dummy our torso dummy and we're going to shoot that gun at a different angle than a straight on angle than a 90 angle we're going to shoot it at a different angle we're going to see how the vest captures the bullet and if there's 
um, anything that you got to worry about. I mean, you don't. Last place you want to be in a in a gunfight is on the ground. Sure. Last place you want to be in any fight is on the ground. But it could happen. Sure, absolutely. Uh, officers get knocked to the ground all the time. Um, they're you know having having to shoot from that uh, supine position. Um, and the reality is, you know, bad guys standing over you, and does that bullet impact and travel up into your head and then you know like it's lights out I'm like let's find out yeah so so that's what we're going to do with this it's really snowing now holy shit we've got a good inch of snow since we started this video um so i know i want to warm up so let's let's put this thing back together and let's shoot it and let's analyze it so we're gonna we've got 45 357 and a snub nose 45 40 cal in nine millimeter um it's all going to be really close within six feet um, we've got to worry about our feet, so we've got to take precautions on that. Um, but, you know, you'll be able to see for yourself and judge for yourself. So, 45. And we're oh. just going to go right up top. All right, 45. Single shot at about what? At six Dang. feet, about a 45 degree angle. We got that there. Capture? Oh yeah. Capture. Capture the bullet. No penetration. Capture the bullet. The bullet didn't spall, go up to the head, nothing. Nope. I mean, knock off the snow on that thing. Right there. Capture that point where that bullet is. Capture that bullet. There's no exit, no tears, no nothing. Capture that bullet. Yep. So let's move up to the 40, moving a little faster. You could be in this position, and somebody could easily be over you. Sure. With the firearm. Yeah. Guy comes in, and they're straddling you, trying to take you out. They push off, take their shot. All right. Well, we got a little spall. We got a. We had, a, we had a little travel, but it didn't come out. Nope. So we travel. And there travel it is right minutes. there. But the bullet's right there. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to nine. I mean, realistically, I mean, who knows what people are doing? That, that's and a duty, duty round. rounds. What? And duty rounds. And duty rounds, yes. So we're shooting torso from the head. Shooting it at another angle. Hit it again. All right, what do we got? That round traveled, but it did not exit. It did not exit. Oh yeah. That's, that's the first round right there. You can see the layers of Kevlar that you tore. Yeah. And where's that for other other round? Second, here? right there. Oh yeah. I was worried that it would travel down the vest and come out. Um, doesn't yeah. seem to be an issue at this point. So, feeling pretty good about that. 357 Magnum. And... Do it again. All right. This vest has been shot multiple times. Looks good. Nothing coming out the edges. That was one. Is that the other? Yep. So, I mean, you really need to train for compromised positions. Oh, yeah. Because you never know when you're going to be in one. And that's true, you know, getting knocked down. That's true being in a car. It's true being... Uh, just in a, in a confined space that you you find yourself in offices, desks, coffee shops, uh, you know, seated down. Uh, you just you find yourself um, more often than not not being up and ready. You you know you think about your day and what you do. You're driving a car. You're sitting at a, you know you're sitting at a McDonald's. So that, that why would you go to McDonald's? <sighs> why couldn't it have been like In and Out Burger or? Chick-fil-A or something. It's got to be McDonald's. Because McDonald's is delicious, you fuck. <sighs> See, now you, you were making fun of me for trying to get that apart. <laughs> a, little, 
I mean, compromised positions. I mean, you more ought than not, more than not, you're going to find yourself in some kind of compromised position, off balance. You know, nothing's going to be perfect, um, except range and qual day. So we've shot this thing five or six times um, at a downward angle, not straight on, at a downward angle. We've got no penetration in our dummy here. Our dummy has no has zero penetration in him. Um, Here's the proof in the pudding. Wait, wait, what's that? It's the back end. What's that? Oh. He got a bullet hole in got there. Got a bullet hole. Oh. Oh, oh my. Dummy's got a bullet hole in him. Rut row. Oh, and it came out his back. Okay. All right, so that, so that came, could they be... came out his liver. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, that's your 357. That's above the that's above the vest though. So when you that, that first 357 round you shot, yeah. you missed the vest. It's that, cold, man. That killed him. <laughs> you killed the dog. So there is no penetration in in the back of the vest. From shooting the through the back of the vest. There's zero. Zero. While you're loading magazines for our our dump, we're gonna do a dump into this vest. One of the things I noticed at the angle that I noticed about this vest that I didn't notice about the other one is because we were hitting it at an angle the the Kevlar and the vest is torn up at that angle that we hit it and we have like right here is yeah, it looks like you're 40 All right so right here we have a 40 cal I mean bullet that hit that and you didn't get the kind of mushrooming that you get when you uh, when we shot the vest before where the bullet flattened out because we hit it at an angle so the bullets more intact the jackets more intact, but I mean Man, we didn't penetrate We didn't we didn't penetrate this thing at all, but we did do more damage to the vest um, This was the nine down here mm -hmm. um, Then when we hit it straight on and when we hit it straight on it, it when we hit it straight on it looked more like this to where we hit it at an angle we did more damage to the vest, but 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 you survived. Sure. Um, I, I worried when we when we you know I, I was thinking we were going to be able to defeat this thing, that we were going to be able to get um, rounds that would travel in here. And this Kevlar is is stopping it. And and I don't ever want to be in a compromised position where I'm down. But I feel comfortable that if this thing's hitting me, that it, it's stopping the rounds. Sure. I mean, right. Yeah. I mean, aren't you? Oh yeah. As long as it hits it, if it doesn't hit it, you're fucked. Yeah. If it doesn't hit it, you're in Slipping trouble. through that collarbone there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what happened with the dummy. Yeah. But, I mean, the bullets didn't travel. The one that traveled the most was this one that was hitting the lower torso here. It traveled about four inches, and then it just rest, it rested right it rested right here. I mean, you know, so it's, it's, it's impressive. So we're going to suit this thing up, shoot it some more. I got, shout out to Jordan. For giving us some ammo i got my sig he's got his little fancy gun with our little rmrs on it we're going to shoot this vest we're going to unload these magazines yep so it should be 34 rounds on the on the vest i got 17 i got 17 17 so 34 34 all righty we got a here we go Gun not like it. You're getting so fancy. Too fancy. And we got the same kind of ballooning. Balloon. But we peppered this thing. No doubt about it. We we shot the living poop out of this thing. I mean look Oh yeah. <laughs> look how many rounds we got into that. I mean we got at least 30 plus rounds in it. It's a little puffy. I mean, realistically, you're not going to be getting shot 40 times. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, realistically. Uh, what we have is through this puffing, oh, yeah. we have... Through the frayed layers of Kevlar. Through the frayed layers. All right, so... so nothing in the center. No. Nope. Nothing in the center.
Um, you want to bring this to the you want to bring this to the back, cut it up, and see how many layers we were able to get through. Let's take it to the kitchen table. Whose kitchen table? Mine. Yeah. Okay. Because it's cold. What a wrong day to do this shit. We've got the same vest that we had last time, but this time we're going to do things. Why are we feeding back? Wow. Oh. Did it hit your ear pro? That's your ear pro. It's your first day? The only day you could fucking do it is like the worst day of the fucking year weather wise. What the fuck? That's too many fucks. The only day you could do this is like the worst day in the world. They miss? What are you shooting out of? That's not important. <laughs> that so feet. We haven't had any snow all year. In the only day you can do this shit. F***ing blizzard. We're done to not like that. <laughs> Punch of shit. Worked just fine in my gun. Hey, that's a really nice gun. What is that? Well, this is your Vickers fucking prima donna gun. As I was hearing it, thug it, thug it, thug it. Your gun doesn't like that ammo. No. Hopefully we don't slide down the hill. Sure. So for correctional officers, is this a viable? You got some shit on your leg. Let's take it to the kitchen table. Whose kitchen table, mine? Yeah. Okay, because it's cold. All right. I didn't know you brought your vagina today, but okay. Mm. What'd you call Joe Satriani? Old man jazz? Yeah. Old man jazz, Joe Satriani. 